What's up guys, Hayden Aquan with another great video for you today. It is Saturday morning and I am on a roll shooting videos right now. I'm hoping to get a ton out and release them slowly just because I owe it to you guys. Um, things have been really crazy uh, just with selling our old house, buying a new house and just with everything. We had some huge private collection liquidations we did. Uh, my dad came and visited in town help us move. We just have had a lot going on. So thanks for being patient. Thanks for sticking with me with everything. And I promise that the videos will be more consistent now. Um, we're in my new office. Um, so now I have my own office and I'm trying to make it a little studio. So there will definitely be more videos coming. I promise you. And again, thank you so much for sticking with me and listening to everything. I hope I'm giving you a ton of value and I will continue to do that for as long as you guys stick around. So anyways, today I want to talk about negotiation. This will be geared mostly towards bulk buyers or people who want to go into bulk and also people that uh, cherry pick as well. But again, the focus is mostly going to be bulk today. So negotiation, I want to talk about specifically as it, um, relates to going in and, and negotiating on a first time basis with a new supplier. So I wanted to start with a story um, to illustrate everything. So I went into one of my suppliers for the first time. I had this specific one I didn't call ahead. I just walked over in person. Um, it took me getting through three different people to finally talk to who I needed to. You know, first it was a, a store employee who said, talk to this assistant manager. That assistant manager said, hey, talk to the warehouse manager. And then the warehouse manager said, hey, talk to my boss. So that's actually a typical, um, you know, if you guys are looking to get in there and talk to somebody, start with the warehouse manager and go from there. A lot of times they have a say where they can talk to you about everything or they'll kind of revert to their, their higher up there. But a warehouse manager is a good place to start. So anyways, when I finally got in touch with a person, I simply was, you know, look, you're just at this, you have to remember, you guys aren't selling anything. You potentially are selling yourself to them really. But at the end of the day, you're a buyer. So don't, don't be nervous to go in and talk and negotiate with these guys because you're a buyer. They, they should be happy. They're there, even if they're not going to work with you. They should be happy. I mean, that's that's a customer coming in trying to buy something from them. So remember that and do not be scared. Do not be fearful of going around talking with prospects and making sales calls to those places, right? So when I finally found them, I said, hey, my name's Hayden. Great, great to meet you. Again, strong handshake, eye contact, super important. Um, that first impressions are everything, guys. And it was like, I was just talking to a friend, okay? I wasn't, you know, dressed up in a suit and tie and, hey, and my name's Hayden, blah, blah, blah. It's like, you're, you're talking to this guy as a friend, guy or girl, whoever they are. Talk to him as a friend, super friendly, outgoing, eye contact, handshake, that's all you need to do. You'll be totally fine, okay? So I said, hey, I'm Hayden. You know, I have a local um, bulk book business in town. I work with several suppliers that you probably know. I would love to work with you guys. Um, I've heard good things. Um, you know, I was wondering if you are currently, you know, what you're currently doing with your books. And he said, well, we are working with a big time supplier who comes and buys them, you know, by FTL, full truckloads. So that's about 48 pallets, uh, 48 pallets on a truck. And so I said, you know, Look, it, this was a while back, and so I'm not at that point, but what I can do is I can pick up 10 at a time, and, you know, we we rent trucks from Penske. Um, you know, I'll have my, my crew members with me. We're very fast, efficient. We know what we're doing. Um, it's not our first time, um, and we'd love to work with you, and our prices are competitive. And he said, okay, well, right now I'm getting seven cents a pound. And I said... Okay, that seems a little higher than normal. Um, is there, and this is what, I, and this is very cordial conversation. I said, that sounds a little higher than normal. How, it, why is it that you're getting seven cents a pound? I just asked a simple question and that an open-ended question, mind you. And then he said, well, 
The reason is, is because our books are high quality and he went into it and he said, we've worked with tons of people in the past. They're all like, you know, clamoring over our books, yada, yada, right? I mean, some people might say that might not be true. In his case, it obviously ended up being true. So I said, well, hey, let's, can, are you interested in doing a test run by working with us if you want? I, I mean, I know for a fact we will probably be freeing up a lot of your space in there because 48 pallets take up a lot of room. And he said, yeah, I actually am interested in that because we don't like them piling up. So already I knew I had an advantage in the conversation, okay? So it wasn't like, okay, well, let me get them for six. And I was like, no, no, no. Seven cents is okay to test. I'd like to test them. But let me ask you something. Would you be open to us paying $75 flat, not per pound? And I ask that because a lot of the pallets we get can be as heavy as 1,250 pounds. Now, if that's the case, you're looking at, you know, $84 in the 80 somewhere for a pallet, a single pallet. So I knew, hey, if I can guarantee 75 flat, we're actually going to be doing better than seven cents a pound if there's 1,200 pounds in there. And if you guys need to do that math to reassure that what I'm saying is true, go ahead and do it. It is. Um, so right then and there, you know, he was okay with it too, because in his mind, he's like, yeah, that's, that's pretty much where we're at now. That's fine. 75 cents flat. And I, another selling point, I was, I was like, they were, um, they were weighing every single one. They were recording it down. It was taking manpower and labor to do that. Right. And it was a slower process. So now it's like, Hey, don't bother weighing them. Don't bother spending manpower with that. I'll just buy them for $75 flat. And that was another selling point and he's happy about that. So we ended up settling on $75 a pallet. These pallets are amazing pallets. I've never found anything better. So I'm not one to try and nickel and dime him because we have an, an amazing relationship. It's one of my best suppliers and I am more than happy to pay that. We make exponential amounts on that money. I know that in general though, for any of you guys that you're going to do negotiation, four cent, most of the big bulk buyers that buy by the truckload, they're at four cents a pound. Okay. So that's kind of the industry standard there. So I just want to write down a couple main things for you guys to remember. And these, you might say they're obvious, but I can't tell you how many people don't do this correctly and don't follow this. So for negotiation, remember, you want great eye contact. Um, handshake, which it's kind of funny to talk about a handshake right now with all the stuff going on. You know, I won't mention it, but in general, that's usually something that you want to do. Uh, we'll see what happens with with society after this. Maybe we're going to start bowing. Who knows? But you get what I'm saying. You want to have a good handshake. Um, talk to them like they are a friend. Remember, this is the biggest. This is one of the biggest ones. Remember. You are the buyer. You are not selling them. So do not know that. Know that, you guys. You're the buyer. Don't be afraid. You should be, you should be making calls left and right calling people. Hey, it's, it's Hayden. I want to buy your product from you. You're not selling anything. They should be listening to you with open ears. If someone's not giving you the price you want, call somebody else, okay? Because they, they either are, here, here's the problem right now. And I just heard, I got to tell you this story actually. So quick, quick little side note. A new supplier that I wanted to work with a lot and I've been trying to court them for a while. I finally get this guy on the phone and he goes, you know, I can't, I'll sell to you. Um, I can definitely sell to you. We can do full truckloads. And I went, great. That's awesome. I'm so excited to start working with you guys. And he said, but I need to charge $135 a pallet. And I'm like, there's no way that we can make that happen. I mean, that's, that's almost double what we're used to paying for. 
And he's like, yeah, well, our, our books are really good. And I was like, well, no, I, I know what really good books are. We have really good books already and we're paying half for that. And he's like, well, no, you need to see mine. And I said, look, there's, there's no way, even if they are good, I know a lot of guys that get extremely good talents that pay four cents a pound for them. I just can't arrive to that. I'm really sorry. And I was like, how did you come to 135 just out of curiosity? And he said, well, I have guys right now that are paying for them. Well, that right away in my head, I knew, well, the guys that are buying from him, they're probably coming to buy one or two at a time. And I was like, hey, look, we can either look at, you know, you can either, I guess you could call it gouge people per pallet at 135. Because you have to, you have to realize th this too, guys. Let's say that let's say that these people are coming and they're buying four pallets on a 16 foot box truck with a lift gate. Okay, their real true cost, if it's 135, if you add on trucking, gas, mileage, who knows where they are? They might be coming from far away. Even if they're not, add another easy $200 onto that. So now you're looking at 335 uh, divided by four. Excuse me. Let me let me do it this way. You're adding another $50, right? Because you divide by four pallets, is 50. Now they're buying pallets for $185. That's no labor, nothing added onto that. So, and then they got, and then they have to figure out how to get rid of them. So if they're gonna have to take them to the recycler after, then, then you're paying another $55 a ton, which is the equivalent of about two gay words. And this is assuming someone's starting new, which these people buying them certainly are. So they won't have connections to a good um, buyback company or anything, I'm sure. So they're gonna have to pay that. So you add that on, uh, that's two Gaylords, divide that by two. Now we're looking at 26 more dollars or so. Now you're above 200 bucks. You're not gonna make money like that. So I said, and I led him through that. Okay, I led him through that and he said, his answer was, well, they are painted still. And I said, I laughed kind of, and I said, well, I, that, I'm happy for you that you're getting that price, but I'm telling you right now, it's not gonna last longer, okay? And I also said, if you buy, if they're only buying four, let's say the two people that are buying from them, they're buying four Gaylords each a week, okay? That's eight total. Eight total at 135. I'm not gonna do that math. It's it's about a thousand dollars, right? Thousand bucks. Now let's say instead of making me a thousand, the thousand, he works with me. Okay? He works with me. I say, I'll pay you four cents a pound. Or let's just call fifty let's call let's just say I say, I'll give you fifty bucks a pallet. I'm gonna buy forty-eight pallets a week. Okay, 48 times $50, mind you, mind you, this guy's sitting on so many, this facility's massive, he's sitting on so many, that's over $2,000, that's, off the top of my head, that's $2,400, I believe, he'll make $2,400 as opposed to 1000 if he sells for less and, and sells more, and he frees up his time and space, so... That was, that was a conversation with him that it was left like this. He said, well, look, I'm not opposed, but I'm not, I'm not certainly ready to go now. Email me, let's get in touch over, you know, you already have my phone number, send me an email. We'll go from there, we'll figure things out. Things are a little crazy right now. I said, fine, I will let you guys know what happens with that, but it's all about negotiation, you guys. You gotta be ready to handle objections. You gotta come prepared, handshake, contact, talk to them like they're a friend, no need for hostility or anything. Remember that you are the buyer. You should have the leverage, okay? Make sure the leverage is, is on your side. So I hope this helps you guys. As always, please like for me. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Um, you know, if you have any friends that you think should would or want to be in this industry or business, let them know. It's a great opportunity. And I will leave you guys with the email as I always do. Let me just, uh, let me erase that real quick. 
put it right here for you. I am happy to answer any questions you have on any of the negotiation topics. I can help you write or craft an email. Um, I also have templates I can send you. Feel free. Hayden Aquilon at gmail.com. H A Y D E N A Q U I L O N at gmail.com. Thank you guys so much for listening. You have a great day. We'll talk soon.